Hi everyone, Cody here from Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip. Today I'm going to go over some generally useful tips for designing a sheet metal enclosure. So when you're prototyping and developing a new technology, time is of the essence. When you're creating the design you want us to manufacture, it's really critical to design as much as possible within our manufacturing capabilities. This will avoid a lot of unnecessary back and forth and will ensure that the end product that we ship to you is going to work for your requirements and application. One of the main important things to remember when designing an enclosure at a sheet metal is to take into account tolerances and clearances. A tolerance is a total possible variation in size that a part and material can be. Most of our parts and material have a plus and minus tolerance. For example, the positional tolerance of a part cut on our laser is plus or minus five thousandths of an inch. This also applies to the size tolerance. So our bending tolerance comes in a plus or minus ten thousandths of an inch. This is a key one to remember when designing parts with bends. So if you have multiple parts that mate together in an assembly, it is extremely important to ensure that they have the proper clearance between them. Clearance is a small gap you leave between two parts to allow for the tolerances. When designing a simple sheet metal enclosure, we will typically only leave ten thousandths of an inch between all parts. This allows the parts a little bit of breathing room and they should assemble nice and smoothly. However, it is extremely important to take this clearance into account when you have parts with complex bending profiles. If you have a tolerance of plus or minus ten thousandths of an inch per bend and you have ten bends, you are going to want to account for a bit more clearance between your parts. Our engineers can take a look at your design and recommend a clearance for you based on the features of your part. Another thing to remember when specifying hole sizes for components or connectors is that powder coat will typically add three to five thousandths of an inch of thickness to your part. So on a circular hole, this could actually reduce the diameter by six to ten thousandths of an inch. So be sure to take this into account. And finally, when screwing parts together in your design, one very important thing to remember is to size your screw clearance holes properly. Typically we use a loose fit for most standard screws here at Protocase. This allows a little bit of wiggle room to accommodate things such as previously mentioned bending tolerance. So as always, if you have any questions, you can comment below or shoot us an email at info at Thanks for tuning in to this week's Proto Tech Tip and we'll see you next week.